utility, total utility and marginal utility are the basic concept of economics. I made this video on these topics. What is utility? Utility is the power of the satisfying wants. What is utility? Utility is the power of the satisfying wants. In general, utility is the usefulness of a commodity. But in economics, utility is the power of the satisfying want. If a commodity does not satisfy our wants, it has no utility. If a commodity does not have any power of power to satisfy our wants, then this commodity has no um, no utility. This uh, this commodity has no utility. If a commodity does not satisfy our any wants, it has no utility. That means if I take an example, uh, smartphone, smartphone. Um, smartphone satisfy our wants, but this smartphone has no utility for an illiterate person because he does not does not know how to handle this uh, handle this smartphone. So this smartphone has no utility for an illiterate person, but for me this has utility. Utility measurement is two types. Cardinal measure, measurement of utility and ordinal, utili, um, ordinal measurement of utility. Cardinal measurement of utility. It is the concept of utility can be measured in terms of units like 1, 2, 3, 4. That means in numerical way we can measure the um, utility. This is cardinal measurement of utility. In the other words, the um, utility is measured in standard numerical units. After that, ordinal measurement of utility. What is ordinal measurement utility? The opposite of cardinal measurement of utility. Or ordinal measurement of utility according to this utility cannot be measured in numerical units. units. We have read in cardinal measurement of utility that we can measurement utility in numerical in a numerical number but in ordinal measurement measurement of utility we can't measure this utility in numer uh, in numerical numerical units a consumer can rank his preference in the sets of most preferred to least preferred set so how can uh, measure the ordinal utility of uh, uh, ordinal measurement of utility? Consumer can rank his preference in the sets of most preferred to least preferred set. This utility concept is confusing. The utility derived from the same commodity may differ from person to person. Um, let, uh, let me take an example. Uh, this, this whiteboard has utility to me, but to a, another person, like a, um, like a farmer, this, this board has no utility. So utility uh, from, the, from this board has changed person to person, varied person to person. So, utility derived from the same commodity may differ from person to person. Now, the total utility. What is total utility? Total utility is the total satisfaction received from consuming a given total quantity of a good or services. That means, now, uh, total utility. Total utility is the Total satisfaction received from a consuming a given total quantity of a good or services. There is a confusion. What, what is the confusion? Uh, there is satisfaction. How can we measure the satisfaction? How can we measure the satisfaction?
satisfaction because satisfaction vary person to person uh, to to remove this this difficulty professor marshall assumed uh, professor Ma marshall assumed that the utility of any commodity can be measured in terms of money where assume that the utility of unit of money is remain constant another definition of total utility is the utility which the consumer gets by consuming certain units of commodity is called the total utility of the commodity uh, this is can be explained by the by this example what is the example example is a person a person is ready to spend 20 rupees for a pen so then we can say that this consumer gets utility 20 rupees for a pen if this consumer ready to buy two pen in exchange of 35 rupees then we can say that he gets utility 35 rupees for two pens uh, in this way we can see that the same consumer spent 20 rupees for one pen and 35 rupees for two pen pen rather than 40 rupees if um, price of a pen is 20 rupees then uh, price of two pen two pens will be 40 rupees but the person the person is not want to spend 40 rupees he want to spend 30 35 rupees so we can see that total utility will be different for different amount of same commodity we can explain it with this table we can see that uh, this person uh, can uh, this person want to spend 20 rupees for one pen 35 rupees for two pens 45 rupees for three pens 50 rupees for four pen and also 50 rupees for five pen then 48 rupees for six pen and 42 rupees for seven pen we can see that up to four pens up to four pens this this person this uh, the, the utility of the, the pen will be increases will be increases but in uh, five pens at the five pens the utility is same and after five six and seven the total utility is decreases now what is marginal utility Marginal utility is the extra utility derived from uh, consuming one extra unit of commodity. This marginal utility we can explain with our this table. How we can explain? Uh, there is one to two. One, one pen to two pens is one extra pen. The consumer want to spend more than 15. That means 35 minus 20 is equal to 15. This 15 rupees is uh, 15 rupees is extra pay for one extra unit of pay. After that two pens to three pens there is one extra unit of pen the consumer will spend more more than 10 rupees for one unit of extra pen that means 45 minus 35 is equal to 10 rupees 10 rupees this 10 rupees is extra payment for one extra unit of that we can see that 3 to 4 3 to 4
for one extra unit of pen, consumer will spend how much? Five extra rupees. Fifty minus forty-five is equal to five. Five extra rupees for one extra pen. After that, four to five. There is also one extra pen and consumer. Consumer will spend extra zero rupees. That means consumer will not want to pay spend extra rupees for the five number of five pen. After five, after five we can see five to six. Number of pen increases. One ex one extra unit of pen increases. But there is there this consumer will not spend extra money. But lower than above price, he will spend minus two rupees. Extra minus two rupees. That means he will spend less than. Fifty rupees. After that, six to seven. There is also there is also uh, number of pen increases. One unit of pen increases, but the consumer will not spend extra unit of money. So you can say that up to four, up to four pens. Marginal utility is positive. At five pence, marginal utility is zero, and after five, this marginal utility become negative. We can see that total utility, where total total utility increases up to twenty to fifty, the marginal utility is positive. Marginal utility is positive. When total utility is fifty to fifty, that means no change, constant. Then marginal utility is zero. Marginal utility is zero. After that, total utility when total utility is decreases, total utility is decreases. Then marginal utility become negative. Become negative. We can explain it in a in this with this diagram. Uh, total utility we. Base our total utility in vertical axis and the marginal utility in vertical axis and horizontal axis. We can we can we measure number of pens. When number of pens pen one, then total utility is twenty. That means uh, this point. After that, when total utility is two, um, number of pen is two. Total utility is thirty five. That means. When total utility is three, mar to uh, sorry number of pen is three. Total utility is forty five. That means this. When tot when number of pen is four, then total utility become fifty. After that, when number of pen six, then total utility is Forty eight. Sorry, when uh, number of pen is five, then also total utility is fifty. Then when total uh, number of pen is six, then total utility become forty eight. That means this. After that, when total utility uh, number of pen is seven, total utility become forty two. That means we can join these points. We can see that. Total utility is increases first when uh, there is pen zero, then 
total utility is zero so we start from zero so we can see that total utility total utility car first increases then decreases then we can see marginal utility when, when number of pin is zero marginal utility is zero when number of pin is one marginal utility is 20 that means after that when number of pin is 2 marginal utility is 15 that means then when number of pin is 3 marginal utility is 10 then when number of pin is 4 marginal utility is 5 When marginal utility, uh, number of pain is 5, marginal utility is 0. When num uh, number of pain is 6, marginal utility is minus 2. When number of pain is 6, uh, 7, marginal utility become minus 6. Then we can join this, uh, those points, we can get that means when 5 total utility is highest, then marginal utility is 0.